All right, I'm gonna show you how to build a campfire and you don't have to tend to it very often. This is called the log cabin technique. So you start off by putting two, obviously they have to be dry, dry logs down like this. Okay, and then you put two more on top like this. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is put the small sticks in the middle because you want airflow. Okay, so depending on how big your fire is, you're going to want to put about three or so logs on top of that. And you want to try to make them smaller so again there's good airflow and you see all like the kindling and the littler stuff is on the bottom and then we're going to put some more stuff that burns easily on top. Okay, so it rained. We're going to put a smidge of lighter fluid. I feel like I'm going to probably get some hate for this, but this is what works. Not that much, just a little bit. Always use a candle lighter with a safety, of course. And we are going to light it. And we'll come back shortly and I'll show you how it's doing. Okay, so as you can see, we added another log, but it is going pretty good. I don't think that the camera is really doing it justice, but this has actually been burning for about two hours. It's really hot. As you can see, we are roasting marshmallows. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but you obviously need tinder and kindling. Uh, good things that start it is like um, a, either a store-bought log that is like a starter log, or you can even use cotton balls with petroleum jelly. And then of course, um, kindling is like the larger sticks like you've seen, kind of seen me <laughs> put in. And then obviously the fuel wood is like the really good wood that burns long into the night. So this is how you burn this type of fire. Again, it's called the log cabin style. So thanks for watching. Please like and share if you love camping like I do.